In tonight's WGN Investigates, what happens to the thousands of cars stolen each year? That's been one of the questions as carjackings and reports of stolen vehicles are making headlines. The state has set up an auto theft task force to try to find the vehicles. As WGN's investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte found out, some of the stolen cars end up being resold. Well, that task force has been operational for the last few years. The recovery rate is about 80% right now. Most cars are dumped after they're used in other crimes, but there's an entire set of vehicles that end up in the hands of consumers. We tracked down one dealership owner who was caught selling stolen vehicles. He gave us the 101 on how it's happening. <laughs> This camera angle shows two of the burglars wearing hoods, masks, and gloves, and they all pull out of the garage two minutes after they arrive. It seemed to be a very organized situation where the, the cars were taken very rapidly. Uses an unknown object to break into the Jeep. Had no keys inside, they are able to start it and take off. Cameras capture some of the most brazen car thefts. Motor vehicle thefts are not just property crimes. These crimes have an enormous impact on the community. In 2020, 28,000 cars were stolen in Illinois. For 2021, the number sits at about 21,000 with two months to go. So these are the recovered vehicles that we have once we recover them from the street as stolen vehicles. Take a look around a hidden tow yard where many stolen cars end up in the hands of the Secretary of State's office until they track owners. As you can see, the majority of these vehicles are white. Why are they all white? Inconspicuous, probably not as flashy, and if you steal a car, obviously you don't want to get caught. As you can see, the public VIN has been removed. Captain Elmer Garza, the head of the state's Auto Theft Task Force, or ISAT, gave us a tour and took us on a ride with his team. This will scan every plate that is in the area as we're driving. Using license plate readers to spot stolen cars in seconds. How often does it go off on a given day? I mean, it depends on the area and how much driving you're doing. We generally get five or six stolen vehicles a night. He says while a lot of the vehicles are used in other crimes, a long list of them are resold. It's a lot easier for a thief to steal a vehicle or two vehicles and make 50 grand a month on uh, offering it up on Craigslist. He can point to cases, one just recently, which took us to Peoria, Illinois, 160 miles south of Chicago, to visit the owner of Pioneer Sales and Detailing. I actually want to talk to you about the stolen vehicles that were sold at this location. I know you just finished your probation. Yeah. Who are you with? I'm with WGN, with Channel 9. Okay, so why are you interviewing me? Well, let's stop right there and explain. Marty Goldstein was sentenced to 30 months probation for selling vehicles stolen out of Chicago. A Lexus, a BMW, a Dodge Charger, Jaguar, and a few more. He's now back at that lot. He's detailing cars, fixing appliances, and get this, when he eventually agreed to talk to us, he didn't want his face on camera, but said he was victimized too when someone walked into his lot pushing the high-end vehicles. He looked like a familiar face. He said, I can get these cars. I said, I'm willing to buy them if they're right and they're not stolen. He bought a total of eight of them. I bought eight of these cars because they were on the money, paid for them. And you told them what you wanted? I just asked them, what can you get? You know, they said, I can get anything. I said, okay. So they got cars that I thought were top of the line. Goldstein's story about not knowing any better didn't convince police, but he says no red flags ever went off. You think this person's still out there trying to push stolen cars? I do believe that, yes. He has no proof of that. This sticker should not peel off easy like this. But the state's auto theft task force knows you can never be too careful, showing us the dozens of fake vehicle identification numbers they spot every day. There's bubbles and deformity in this VIN because it's, it's not stamped by the manufacturer. It's actually been a sticker placed over the top of it with the false VIN. It could be off center. But spotting a fake VIN isn't even the toughest part. First look at these, they look pretty good. Yeah, they do a good job. Titles are being duplicated too. This is heat sink, so if you rub Abe Lincoln, he will go away. So Most people probably don't know that. Most people don't know that, but that's a that's a real good indication when you're buying a car that that title is legitimate. One trick that bold thieves haven't been able to replicate, making it, at least for now, a little harder to get away. 
And Marty Goldstein is not able to sell cars for three years. If you're wondering how he was caught, it happened after a traffic stop. The title did not match up with what the Secretary of State had on its